Okay, so we're gonna look at lockdown. Um, this is the reveal the shield. No, hunt for the Decepticons. Lockdown, not the animated lockdown. Now I used to have the animated lockdown, and it was actually really awesome. That's why I was really looking forward to this figure. And after getting him, that's when I decided to rename him Letdown. So, for the rest of this review, I will be referring to Lockdown as Letdown, because he was a huge letdown for me. Um, here he is in his car mode. He does roll fairly well. Um, so no, no issues there. Um, it's a un... I don't even know what kind of car this is. Tommy's not around. Actually, he is. Let me go. Let me pause this for just a second. Ah, so, uh, talking with Tommy, uh, he says that this kind of looks like a heavily, heavily modified, like, Datsun Z... 28Z, I think he said. Um... 280Z. Kind of like uh, the Prowl alt mode. Um, just heavily, heavily modified. So, um, so let down here, he's got spikes uh, all over the place. Now, these little spikes are hard plastic, but these big wheel spikes are that rubber. And so it's like, I don't know why they bothered with the little spikes being hard plastic and the big ones being soft. I mean, you can hurt yourself on those just as easily, or the front end. Oh. Um, interesting little side bit. So if you pull the feet down, pull it forward, you can kind of make a foot. So, yeah. It'd be, it would have been kind of cool if they made a combiner, except you'd have to use this figure. Um... Yeah, I guess that's really all there is to this vehicle mode. Um, rolls rolls pretty well, even though this tire's not even touching the ground. Um, that's because this hook thing just it's all warped and sucks at life. Um, so now bear with me while I transform. It's been a very long time because I hated this thing. Um, pull the feet down. And then you can um, do something. Um, this piece can come up like so. Um, just back there like that. And it's kind of loosen everything up. And all right. So I guess we're going to go with this. All these pieces can kind of fold out like so um, and then you get this for the feet um, and you let's see you want to bend in like so take this out and split this and then he's got the chicken leg thing going on and then you just fold the feet down like so and then you take these wheels fold them back and then this all Laps this together, and oh man, I hate this thing. Um, this piece kind of comes out like so, and you want to just kind of angle it like that, I guess. This piece comes down, and um, I don't know. Just leave that where it's at. And then you come over here and this section comes up like so. And then you can take this and what the hell? I guess just pull that like Oh for Pete's sake, what the hell am I doing here? Pull that? No, that doesn't look right. Fold down the hand, and you take this section here and fold it 
down and then plugs in. Um, there's a little tab right there that just plugs in right there. Just plug that in and Okay, that looks a little bit better. I think that's how it's supposed to go. And then you can take this piece and plug it into his forearm here, and now you have a piece of shit standing straight up. Um, there really is nothing about this figure that's awesome. Nothing. Car mode's decent, but this thing is just... Wow. I mean, this... Secret mold. Um, I mean, he 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 does grow quite a bit. He does stretch out a lot for deluxe. I mean, he is. Um, here's Inferno in robot mode. And you can see how much taller he is than Inferno. Um, uh, here's uh oh. I just broke his hand off. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those nights, isn't it? There we go. Here is Transformers Prime Voyager Class Starscream, who is still smaller than this Deluxe. Holy crap, he's a big Deluxe. Um, so, I mean, that, I guess that is a good thing. He does seem really thin, but, yeah. Head is on a ball joint, on top of a ball joint, on top of a swivel. So, I mean, he can do all sorts of different things with his head. So, that's uh, kind of cool, I guess. Um... Shoulders on a ball joint. Uh, it's all hindered by that kibble, and you saw how much difficulty I was having with that kibble. Just trying to get it to line up properly, and now I think it's all fucked up. So I'll have to, I don't know, figure that out at some point. Um, elbows, ball joints. Uh, hand is on a swivel. Um, fingers are the really soft, soft rubber. Um, so, I mean, it just bends all sorts of, I mean, it just kind of, yeah. Um, this arm is on ball joint, elbow joint. Um, the hook, which is, as you can see, is warped. Um, it's on a piston, so you can kind of move that around. Um, if this was hard plastic, that would have been so much cooler, but it's not. Um, it says it's that really soft rubber. Um... Nothing at the waist, he does have a little bit of an ab crunch if you want him to. Um, hip is on a double socket. Um, because of the tires, like this one, it, it it doesn't get too much of a range of motion and it looks like it will only bend like this far up and that's it. They go in and out, but again, the wheels just get caught on everything. Um, he bends at the backwards knee, and he bends at the forward, or yeah, he bends at the, he bends at both knees, and the foot is on a hinge, um, and yeah, that's really all there is to him. Um, I give him a I'm going to give him a 3 out of 10. I don't like him at all. Um, I like him less than Tangor or Octane. Um, and he's very kibbly. He just is just horrendous. But the head double pivots, you know, on the head, you know, giving him that great range of motion. I mean, he can look any which way you can possibly imagine him. That's cool. Um, 
Yeah, I originally said he has absolutely nothing to save him, but he actually does. And the fact that he goes from a just a deluxe car to such a big robot is kind of cool. I mean, you saw him compared to modern day Voyagers, and if you compare him against even the Voyagers of that time, um, I'm trying to think if I have a Voyager of that time. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Let me grab Bludgeon real quick. He came out in that same line. So here he is next to Bludgeon. And he is still taller than a Voyager of that time. And he doesn't look, I mean, he's definitely thinner than Bludgeon, but he doesn't look it. Uh, he it looks like he's got more mass than he does. So he expands very well, which is why I, I have to give him a three out of 10. Um, he, he's, he's not good by any means, but <clears throat> the two things he does, he does very well. And that's expand and the posability on the head. So I think that's really all there is to say about bludgeon or let down. Um, he still is a let down. Cause like I said, animated one is so much better and, and he does it too, where he just gets bigger and bigger. Um, so if I had to say, you know, pick him up or the animated, I'd pick the animated up and maybe try and put his head on him because he does have a better head sculpt. But yeah, other than that, if you find him on discount, maybe pick him up, but I won't go out of my way to find him or anything like that. <clears throat> but yeah, all in all, that's uh, Transformers. Hunt for the Decepticons let down. Um, oh, and next time we'll take a look at another crappy Energon figure. Doesn't turn out to be a bad night.